o'clock. Good, after- Good morning. It's 7 o'clock and it's been snowing outside. And I'll tell you, it's the 218 Canadian Juvenile Broomball Championships uh, between Odessa Flames and the Palmerston Terminators. Women's B-side gold medal game. And... Uh, Happens here early here at uh, 7 o'clock in the morning, and uh, it's been a great weekend for the tournament. Uh, Phil Davis and I'm Gord Chapman, and uh, uh, we're trying to bring you some action here from the... Uh, we are bringing you some action from the, the Lumley Bayshore Arena with uh, heavy hearts this morning. Uh, we understand that a uh, uh, serious bus accident in uh, Saskatchewan. We've got two teams here from Saskatchewan that are... That are uh, uh, are very you can see the sticks of uh, the the odessa flames are in green uh in honor of the uh of the of the players that uh, uh were involved in this accident we understand that it's the humboldt uh broncos, broncos and it was a uh accident uh on the way to the fifth game of the playoff series and 14 fatalities uh the saskatchewan players uh, both teams are uh, very uh uh shaken up by all this uh they they have friends on the buses and uh, it's a small community in saskatchewan our our condolences on behalf of rogers uh, to the those players and to the families and to the uh uh people especially in the hockey world it's a tragedy and it's uh very uh very very uh uh it, it's difficult to wake up to that kind of news yeah it's really hard to put into words what uh, they're going through right now it's it's tough they're gonna have to try and set that aside and play the game um which is you know what is expected but yeah it's so difficult to focus on the task at hand when you're when you're thinking about back home well this is true and of course uh this has been such a tremendous tournament and the saskatchewan teams have uh have, have played so well and uh, uh, it, uh uh, it's it's unfortunate this kind of thing happens to happen. It doesn't matter uh, whether you're in the sporting world or not. Uh, that, that kind of tragedy, being a former bus driver, uh, knowing full well that uh, uh, the driver probably that busted everything he could, and and uh, yeah. um, it to to avoid whatever happened. But it, but unfortunately, these things do happen, and uh, um, it's a rarity, thank goodness. But uh, uh, hopefully. Uh, that the Saskatchewan can uh, play their games today and, and, and do well. You can see the teams on the ice have their sticks that they're taped in in honor, mm-hmm. in remembrance. And at, at the end of the uh, Saskatchewan game, there's two games today, they will ha- have a moment of silence. So uh, from what I understand, the... Uh, exactly, yes. We have uh, two uh, teams from Saskatchewan here. So uh, the first team tonight is playing uh, this morning right now. And then the second, I think it's the third game that's playing through that the other Saskatchewan team will be playing. So after that, game they're going to have a, a moment of silence but uh there you get the set we're going to get this game done and uh uh and they're getting and setting they're talking to their goaltenders and getting things underway and we're, we're going to bring this game to you and it's the odessa flames against the palmers palmerston terminators odessa in white or pardon me palmerston in white the odessa flames in black to your right Going out for the face-off. Opening face-off. We're getting ready to bring you this game. 7 o'clock in the morning. we got snow on the ground, and we've got broom ball coming to you into your living room. And uh, they warmed up in the wrong ends, obviously. So goaltenders are changing and uh, getting set up. Face-off. It'll make for a short change in the second half anyway, so that's a, that's a nice thing for both teams. Yeah. Face off, game underway. Odessa in black. Number eight, Schaefer. Gets it up the boards. 52 is Schefter. Here come the, here come the Palmas and Terminators. Ball is in behind. Pass back to the point. K drives it in. Schaefer. Long pass up along the boards. Tried to get some interference going on. I like that move where you can play the player as the ball comes along the wall. Terminators bring it out to the Flames. 
Ball along the boards. Up to number 33, Valet. The lad. The 86, Burnett. Burnett takes the shot. Joss whistles that one by the post. Nice save by the keeper there. As they got a piece of it and it just went by the post. In the corner, twisting and turning. That's Lentz to 57. Back out to number 30. There's the shot high and wide. The ball comes back out to the blue line. Flipped into the corner there. Nice Bom Bomberson trying to get on the ball quickly. That's number 29, and that's Coluche. Back out in front to eight. Robin Schaefer. Schaefer in behind the net. Palmerston having some territorial advantage right now. Back to the blue line. Dross, there's a shot. Good stop. Two of them in a row by the goaltender, Horner. Horner coming up big. The last making two stops. There's the Terminators. They've got the ball. It's the ladies' B gold game. And here comes the ball along the ball. Tried to get it up across the center line. Couldn't do it. Far enough in for a quick switch there for uh, Odessa. Odessa in black. There's a nice body check by number 11, Ch Chitton. In behind the net, Schaefer has it. Loses it. Tried to pass it through the through the circle as for that breaking forward, and it didn't happen. There's the a long, hard shot hit off by number eight, Schaefer. That's Robin Schaefer. Tried to send it up through center, it couldn't get it. Loose ball. Oh, that Both. icing be slippery there. <laughs> Certainly. It's early in the morning. It takes a little time for it to be worn down, but they only flood it once, and that's so. Footwear is, is there's a shot and a hard shot. 52 is Schechter. She got it in behind the net. Here they come again. There's the Terminators up along the wall. Passed out. Chance for a two on one. A little bit collision there. Somebody's heading to the bench. Number 15. Alexis McGill, something towards her neck. She's not too happy about that. That hurts, so she headed to the bench, but she seems to be okay. Skiku knocks the ball into the corner. Burnett tried to center it out in front, ends up in behind the net. 23 is Prusichin. Odessa just trying to get some uh, empty space here right now and uh, have a little bit of ball control. Up along the wall is Skakun. Kept in there by number 41, Kennedy. And Kennedy just fires it back inside. And that goes to Chitton. And somebody lost the stick on the ice. Little back pass through center. Here they go. There's a shot by number 33. Vlad. Vlad's in the corner with a twisting and turning, trying to center it out in front. Just missing that was Burnett. She had an opportunity, stick flying all over the place this morning. <laughs> Trouble gripping him. Here comes. This is number three, Boussier. There's the shot fan on it, and they tried to set it up. Ending up down was Boussier. The Flames, Odessa. Some offense a little bit that time, tried to knock it down, but can't get to it. There's number nine, Schaefer, Morgan Schaefer. She has the ball in the zone, knocks it in behind the net, cross behind to Kalinocha. Nice play to get to intercept that pass. Out to the blue line, Schaefer, Schechter has it. And there's players coming off the bench. You gotta be careful, you don't have too many men. This has got a deep here now, so uh, they can get their change in, too. They got a chance flicked in behind the net by Kay. Palmer's from Terminators. Trying to control that ball in their own end, and then they get back on the offense. Terminators have some, had some control in that first half of the game. 
Breakaway, there's number 29. Cloutier, Cloutier has a chance, there's a shot, scores! From her knees, as she was going down the left wing, full bore, and she would, and lost her footing and still managed to get that shot away. We're gonna see it on the Rogers replay. What a beautiful play there, using the boards to pass it up there. We just uh, just happened to miss that, so we see her coming in one-on-one -on -one with the goalie and takes a nice shot and picks the corner there. Goalie might have slid a little too far up to one side, gave her a little bit too much of the uh, the far side of the net there to aim at. She was able to pop it in the back there. Terminator's up one nothing. Horner thought she had it, but uh, losing her footing, was able to get control of that ball and put it into the net. Here come the Terminators again, a little pass, dump pass up the wall. Bender. Bender trying to control it, does. Then it's just knocked back, can't feel to get it up past that blue line. Here's Bender, getting upset, there's the shot, and it's wide. On the ball really quickly, Schindel. Schindel got a shot away, and uh, Schulten was in, in play. Was able to play it. Here come the Terminators again, a little tip pass up along the wall. That's number 40, Mellenbelt, Mullenbelt, pardon me. Mullenbelt has it again at center. Taking it off, passing it to Wolf, and Wolf is in the corner along with uh, Chittenden. There's a shot out in front, then wide of the net. Try to center it back out in front. And nothing happened as it was deflected off into the, behind the goal. Terminators. Oh, Luke, well, there's a soft pass, nearly cost him. Collision there, Shittenden went down. Couldn't see who come off the net, but I believe on that play is number 16 or 17, Wilson. Bad change for Odessa there. That really put them at a disadvantage. Thomason's got uh, got the ball in a great attacking area. There's a shot, hot right up, bouncing in the goal crease. His number nine, Brooke Drost, had a chance at it. In front, finally picking up that loose ball for the Odessa Flames. Pat, nice, neat pass through center, and then she lost control of it. Picked up by Walker. Walker in the zone, getting to the circle. Walker on the ball, twists and turns, passes it right out in front. Good defensive play to knock that away, but back to the blue line is Vlad. There's the shot, and knocked down in front. Has Hosepel got a hold of it. 86, of course, is Burnett. Burnett in the slot area, couldn't do anything with it, went off a leg. It's number 12, Josefeld. She was along the boards, ball ends up back in front of the net, and out comes Odessa Flames. They lead pass, just missed by Boucher. Yeah, Odessa having a hard time getting the ball out of their zone right now, and uh, the Terminators just keep piling on the pressure here. Well, they're not getting it, Phil, they're not getting it to a player. They're just deflecting it and then uh, not really getting any control. There's a shot right in front, right across, as that pass was meant. And uh, Josefel had a chance, then they knock it out, and they're just going to knock it down the ice and probably going to get an icing. Nope. Yep. Yeah, they did get that. So, yeah, yeah, that's a very astute observation that you've had there that really they're they're at that point right now where they're just trying to bang it and get it out rather than picking out a, a winger to try and get it up to and keep some sustained uh, control of that ball. And and a face-off will probably help them a lot just to sort of calm the nerves a little bit and, uh, and get their focus back because, uh, yeah, right now they've been running around for pretty much the whole first half of this first half. But that's the Flames. You're right. They they uh, finally they win the draw, get the ball back in behind the net. This is what they have to do is to control it. And a nice little pass up front, and then losing it. Ball control has been a problem for them right now. Lentz tried to get it through center, couldn't. Stolen. Pass right up to number 17. Uh, Wilson. Wilson has takes the shot. Good save by Horner. That ball did manage to get through. Back out to Kennedy. Kennedy. Back along the blue line, looking to get through that wall of defense. Odessa finally getting control of the ball. Schaefer brings it out. Schaefer, little lead pass and picked off by Vaughn as she had it, which just got her stick in the way. Vaughn again, loose ball, trying to get it through, but can't tapped it forward and just sweeping it away was Jordan Schulten as she had a chance to 
just knock it off into the corner. The ball got too far in front of the Odessa forward. Yeah, that was uh, that was really close. If she could have hit it not quite as hard there, she would have had a great scoring opportunity. Christy Van Oyen in after the ball gets a hold of it. Finally picked up by number 34, and that's uh, Bender through center. Here they come. That's what they need to do, and then just step right into number 25. But she stood her man up, and that's Kelsey Walker. Seems that they make that little well, loose ball in front. Got to get a hold of that thing. Finding the goaltender, uh, Horner, knocks it away. Smart play just to use the boards there, just trying to relieve a little bit of pressure by Odessa. And Odessa trying desperately to get that ball out. Finally getting some control and then knocked it up off the wall, but in those lanes and again, knocking, deflecting that pass was number 29, and that's Cloutier. Loose ball, setting it up, there's the shot. Oh, just fired it wide, was number 15. That's McGill, Alexis McGill had a chance and couldn't bury it. Ball in the paint, finally they're getting a whistle. And we're gonna see another replay of that uh, first goal and uh, just come a little bit further back. So you see the nice little play that a lot of times in Broomball, you don't necessarily uh, have to go right to the player, but put it off the boards and that freed her up. Nice, easy run. And it was actually a pretty easy goal for uh, Palmerston there. Well, they're, do they're doing a great job with their brooms, keeping the ball in too, I've noticed. Really good stick work with uh well, they've the made terminators. a number, you're, you're right, Phil, they've made a number of plays that uh, the, Odessa has got the ball and then knocked it up to the, the ice and and, and uh, just got the stick in the way and, yeah. and, and stopped the rush. So. Here they go, There's number 21, Sarah Watke, Watke. Along the boards, couldn't control it, but then gets, gets it back. Up to Kay, Kay just knocks it inside the zone. Watke again. Oh, tried to shoot a nice defensive play by the Odessa defense. There's a shot back to the, the slot area. Finally, just knocking it out in a game. Hard pass is hard to control. Bertier tried to get it along the boards. Gives it a chance for Glass. Glass has it. Fires it off into the corner. Going to pick it up. Number 14. Lose it. There's a chance that the goaltender knocked it off the side. That's Schulten. Tried to center that out in front. Ball in the in the corner. Dessa tried to get out, then just knocked down the ice. Did the nice high hand coordination on that. That was number 15. McGill, that ball was in the air, and she hit it and knocked it out down the ice and uh, turned it into a some possession, possession in their own zone as they chased it down to get it. Here comes Odessa's Flames through center. Got some lead time. This is Bercier. Gets a shot, just fires it wide, and then hits to the bench. That That's was close. <laughs> yes. Well, they got some skill if they can get it going. Uh, it just seems like the, like the Terminators are just a little bit better in ball control at this part of the game. So. Yeah, yeah, they really have just had a, a little bit more. They haven't, they haven't uh, panicked quite as much. It seems like uh, the Terminators right now when they've had the ball. Horner squeezes the ball as they come out in from behind the net. Chitton and back there doing her thing and uh, trying to send it out, but they couldn't get the ball out of the zone. See the players uh, along the benches. So. And I think this is a good play for Odessa if they can. Slow the game down as much as possible. That's a great idea for the goalie. Just to try and calm everything down here. Still only one goal game, so, uh, you know, there's a lot of time left. Well, it's uh, five minutes and ten seconds left in the first frame. As we know, we play 18-minute halves. Odessa just knocks the ball off into the corner. And here they go. Trying to control it, in the, but they can't get it. Nice work by number nine, Brooke Drost. She's in there digging for that ball along the wall. Little soft pass. Gets it back out. Looks like we're getting a penalty because they're changing. Referee has his hand in here. Six attackers, six on five. Nice move, Walker. Tried to, then finally it looks like the, the Flames are going to touch the ball and it's going to end up, uh, we're getting the call here. Official coming. Probably be a high stick. Yeah. 
Hi, Broom. Yeah. So this is going to be pretty critical here for Odessa. They certainly don't want to go down by two. That's uh, uh, down by one isn't too bad, but in Broom Ball, it is hard to score goals usually. So uh, being down by two, that'll be a challenge. We're going to have a replay here. Uh, this looks like where it was just got froze up at the end there. I was thinking we might see the replay of the uh, of the high broom that happened, but uh, back to back to play here. 39, of course, is Cloutier. She has, there's the shot. Another shot high and wide. That big sweeping broom ball act, action. Here's number nine, and that's Brooks, Brooke Drost. Drost. Off to the wing, into the circle. Drost has a chance. Going to fire it. Nope. Sets it up, looking for the backdoor shot. No, did you get ready? There's the pot shot in the point, and almost looked like the deflection was in, in play, but it didn't happen. Drost again at the blue line. Shoe Vlad. Vlad drives it. Good defensive play by Odessa, and then they just fire it out and get it off the boards and take the pressure off. Number 33 is Vlad. Across the Drost. Rose seems to be the quarterback of this, this power play. On this side to Vlad. Vlad trying to set it up. Rose getting set in her spot. Back to Rose at the point. Rose again. There's the corner. Cross ice. There we go. One timer. There's the shot off the post. Loose ball. Ball was kicked. And no goal. And. Uh, the ball kicked into the crease there, and that's why we got the whistle coming okay. up. We're going to look at the penalty. And there's the broom coming up and tapping her on the, on the helmet, and you could see that. Yeah. That... She was just trying to avoid the, <laughs> avoid the hit. Yeah, it was a pretty easy call. It's one of those ones where there was absolutely nothing in it, but uh, the broom hits the head, and, uh, yeah, you pretty much have to call that one. So. Well, you got to be in control of your stick, so. That's right. Gold medal game, three minutes and four seconds remaining in the first frame. Ball stolen nicely by number eight, Schaefer. Robin Schaefer chases it down, killing off some valuable time. 24 seconds left in the penalty. As Haley Lentz sits in the penalty box on a high sticking call. Digging hard for that ball. It's the Odessa forward. We haven't got number 14 on our sheet, so hopefully... Uh, we're sorry about that, but up to the eye, up to the surface. That's Wepler getting it up to Kate Burnett. Burnett, Burnett back out to the lad. There's the shot. Just went through the goals. He kicked again. Faceoff's going to come outside the blue line now. Any of those line violations come outside the line. So because the center line is the halfway point and is the offensive zone. Face offs are, they don't give that advantage. Seems uh, really uh, punitive to have them come back there, but that's part of the uh, game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. you do have to think of it as two zones rather than sort of three zones like you have in hockey. And uh, uh, yeah, that's one of those things. You, you, try, you try and learn that as much as possible. Odessa with the ball, and then just up to Kennedy. Kennedy gets control of center ice. Kennedy, a little pass along the wall. Having trouble seeing the number because of the long hair, <laughs> and it's number 21. <laughs> Watke. Watke got it back. There's a long shot off of a hand and knocked away, and then knocked out by Odessa and down the ice. Nice play by Kelanucha. Soft pass there. That could have been dangerous for the Terminators. Terminators. Uh, Got to be careful in their own zone. This uh, Odessa team can score. So uh, as much as the Terminators have been in control of this game so far, you can't give them any nice sweeping yeah. move by Schulten as she swept that ball into the corner. That was almost right on cue. You're just going to say, although uh, the Terminators they have such a run of play, almost have the goal to tie it up there. Number five, Schindel. Off to Skaken. Schindel. Dives for the pass, gets it up to number 34, Bender. Bender lines up, fires it wide, comes out the other side and almost, and then knocked. Now we're going to get a, a call. It's interference. Knocked her down right in front, and you can see that play. Now Odessa's going to go on the power play. 58 seconds remaining in the first frame. 
Yeah, and that's exactly what they need. We'll have a replay here. And that was beautiful. There was a good chance there. And then, yeah, the ball's way too far. Just uh, push her in the back. And that was enough to get the two-minute penalty. So a minute left here in the first half, just under a minute. And uh, Odessa's going to see if they can tie it up to, before halftime here. Alexa McGill uh, sitting in the penalty box with an interference call. Into the corner, onto the ball is Walker. Walker tried to get it out. Can't get it there. 23 is... Prosenshin, and somebody's hurt in the corner. Yeah, it looked like maybe uh, Abigail Lentz. She went in really hard. Uh, looked like she probably put her hands up to brace herself, and and that's one of those things where I'm not sure where she got that up, and it was the shoulder that went in there. Um, Lentz. Just got stick checked a little bit. Yeah, and it looks like uh, she tried to get her hand up, and it's hard to hard to tell with something like that. It could be the wrist. It could be it could be many things. It's pretty hard to speculate. I don't know. This looks a little more serious than what we like it to be. Uh, uh, it's a good possibility that uh, that's too bad. Lentz is. Uh, yeah, we're going to take it to the dressing room, and uh, it's either a shoulder or a wrist or. Uh, She's hanging on to that pretty tightly. So. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to she tell by it. the... She hit a really awkward angle, so... Uh, injury with 45 seconds left. They didn't waste any time getting her to the dressing room, and I hope seriously that uh, she's okay. But uh, she did go into the boards awkwardly, and... Uh, yeah, when you go down uh, so close to the boards like that, it's hard to get your bearings and be able to get your hands completely up. It's either a wrist or shoulder, yourself. but I don't think it's a shoulder because she didn't drop it. It was more she was holding. No, the no, it looked like she did get her hands up there. It just probably she didn't get, was able to get the palms out and just uh, sort of brace herself that way. Well, hope it's not too serious and uh, not require anything more than a, a band aid, but you never know. Haley's Lentz has it. Lentz, just a little tap off the wall. They're on the power play. They've got a minute and 26, and then just nice play by number 33. But Balad knocks it right down the ice surface. On it, number 23. Prosic in. There's the ball through center. Picking up, and that's Lentz. Lentz has it. And there's the horn. And a couple of Lentz's in the lineup. We're looking at 13, Abigail Lentz, and uh, Haley Lentz, number 10. And Le Abigail is the one that hurt her, hurt her wrist or arm, and is off there. So there's, it's a family affair, this broom ball, isn't it? It absolutely is. You'll see a lot. Uh, it, it's one of those things that's generational, too. The parents will play. The kids get involved at a very young age. Uh, they're out at the rink with their parents a lot of times when they're <laughs> when, the, when they can't even walk yet. Or when they're running around and they're only three or four. So, uh, yeah, these girls are probably, most of them have probably grown up with the game. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so so you'll see a lot of brothers, sisters playing sometimes alongside their parents, too. Well, this is, so that's amazing. It, it is a Dessa Flames sitting there. Obviously, we talked about it earlier. They're uh, playing this game this morning with uh, very heavy hearts. Uh, crew refreshments provided by Dairy Queen, and uh, we're so pleased to have them on board uh, they are located at 888 3rd Avenue East, uh, 315 Main Street. Like I said, they they have fed our crew all week, and they're great to have them as a team member. And as I say all the time, I said, folks, uh, buy locally. They support us. Please support them. But the Saskatchewan sitting on the bench, uh, that is uh, such a horrific uh, uh, start to the day. And uh, they've got their, t their sticks all taped in in. in uh, in green and remembrance and uh, the referees are, are at the bench and the Saskatchewan coach or a trainer is coming back across the ice and uh, imagine that Lentz I hope is okay and they've got somebody looking after her right now and uh, but uh, a small community in, the, in, in Saskatchewan and it's a tremendous sports area and uh, to have a hockey team of that caliber um, in a collision and an accident at that point, it's, 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 it's really tough. Our hearts go out to them again, condolences, and uh, they're having a tough time playing this game this morning. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's it's so hard to focus when you have other things on your mind that, that even though this is the championships, 
it is more important. So uh, it, it's it's so hard to keep the focus, but they have to, and they've they've played actually quite well so far. So hopefully they can uh, maybe pot one and uh, tie this game up. On the power play, the Odessa Flames, of course, uh, down one to nothing, but they're on the power play, drive the ball down the ice surface, and it's going to be icing. That's not what you want in a power play, is to lose the ball and have a faceoff and go the full, full 200 feet. And uh, they want to get some sustained offense, and they've had difficulty doing that this morning. Yeah, that would have been a play probably where they should have kept a little bit more control. Uh, the defender could have moved it over into the center of the ice and had uh, a lot more to look at there and pick out a person and, like I say, keep ball control because you really need that when you have the man advantage. Well, uh, they haven't had much to do at a good penalty, but you can say that uh, Desta Flames haven't done well on the power play, but you've got to give full marks to uh, Palmerston Terminators for killing this off so far. Absolutely. They stand three up on the line, which is a, a really typical thing that you'll see in broom ball. And just uh, three just over the red line, and it's making it really difficult for Odessa to break through there. Odessa have the ball right now, turning it, twisting with it, and that's number nine, Schaefer. Schaefer got to get it up over center. They can't do it. There's the little dump pass, and uh, chasing after it, I believe it's number 10, and that's Lentz. Lentz has it. Haley Lentz. But on it quickly, number 41, and that's Kennedy. Carissa Kennedy doing a nice job, wasting that time. In behind the net, centered out in front, off the goaltender. And Schulten just deflected it away. Odessa had a chance in the zone. Finally, they get the ball back, and the penalty is over. Robin Schaefer through center, then just knocked it up. No ball control. And here comes... The Terminators from Palmerston, number 18. Vaughn just knocks it off into the corner. Picked up by Schaefer. Schaefer in behind her own goal. Schaefer. Nice play off the boards there. Got to get some ball control. We talked about this earlier, and they just seem to lose it. They're knocked off. Good play by Horner as she knocked the ball off into the corner. Yes, goalies played really well to keep them in the game right now here, and uh, Odessa would uh, would do themselves well if they could get, like say, a little bit more ball control and uh, take a little bit of pressure off their goalie. And in the corner, fighting after that, is Lenz. There's the shot, nice save by Horner. It's a way to stay tall in the net there, and uh, yeah, didn't really have much to shoot for uh, the Terminators. Brianna yeah. Wolf uh, firing that shot. And uh, so really no need to panic yet for Odessa. There's still lots of time in the game. They don't have to press too much, but they, they do have to try and start creating some scoring opportunities here and putting some pressure out on the defense of the Terminators. Up along the wall, there's a, there's a nice lead pass. Chasing after it is Bucieri, and Bucieri oh, just lost her footing, but uh, getting back in time was Walker, took control of the ball in behind her own goal. Up along the boards to Drost. Drost a little lead pass. Up to Watke, Watke couldn't control and it was stolen by the Odessa forward as she came back. Then losing control, the ball goes into the corner. Out to 32, Oroz. And there's the shot, then right on the goal, and just wide as Odessa just failed to get it out again. There's loose ball in and around the net. Kicked away as Buceri gets a hold of it. And then she can't get by number 41, who's Kennedy, Carissa Kennedy, who stood tall on the defense and then knocked down the, the floor by Odessa. Ball goes in off the wall. Nice play just to get things sorted up. And that was number 40, Mellonbelt. Mullen belt, pardon me. In the corner. On the ball is Prosichin. Got some interesting names coming from Saskatchewan. Yeah. I, hopefully I'm pronouncing them correctly. <laughs> if not, I apologize. Number 10, of course, is Lentz. Haley Lentz went off with an injury and uh, left her sister back out here. They had to to get some some action started so 
Hopefully she's well. Lentz along the board. Lentz has it. Lead pass into the middle. Nice move. Another odd. Oh, nice stick. Number 52, and that's Schefter. Made a nice play. That was starting to develop, and she got the stick in the way. Yeah, just that little stick in the way, it can make all the difference in the world playing defense. Sometimes you don't have to take the body if you can have your uh, broom in the right uh, in the right position, in the right lane. Along the boards, step kept in, nice play. Play number 23, and that's Brosichin. Ball gets fired into the corner after it is Schefter. Schefter has it. Then comes along the wall and then off the player in the bench and uh, we get a whistle and the faceoff is going to be deep in the zone to the left of goaltender Jordan Schulten. Has not a lot of work, but boy, when she has been, she's been there. Yeah, there's uh, Odessa has not been able to create a whole lot yet. Uh, and they don't look like they have too many really hard shooters there, so they're going to have to work it in a little bit closer to the net and probably look for the tips and deflections in that more than a, a, a booming shot from the point. Schindel loses the draw, and then the ball comes out down along the wall, chasing after it. Burnett. A nice little play, little passes. Those are nice. 34. Yes, Bender. Bender sends it right up and then just nicely controlling that ball with Schulten. And put the ball in behind the net out of, out of harm's way. Bender staying with her man. Has gross at it. Bender tried to get it. Then the shot through center. Can't get to it. On the ball is Chittenden. And then knocked away. By 17, Wilson. Wilson in on goal. Oh, couldn't control the pass. Was number 67, Emma McGrove. She had a chance. Couldn't get there. Get that stick on it to deflect it or shoot it into the goal. But nice play and nice setup. Little play along the wall. Coming out. Here comes Bender with it. And we're getting a oh. high sticking call. Me? Who me? Yeah. Saw that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's like, was that me, really? And, and I just noticed even before that penalty, that seems to be Odessa's game is those small little passes where they're breaking up. Uh, that's uh, breaking out. They've created two or three half chances there and uh, just missing on some of the later passes. But this is a beautiful little play here. Like I say, just a little give and go, little, little give and go there. And yeah, she just didn't have control of her broom there and uh, was up in the face of the Palmerston player. And, and it's too bad because it really took it away, a, a possible nice break there by uh, Odessa. Oh, you're so right about that because, but that she just started to protect herself. And of course, because uh, she was being wha being hammered at, at center ice on a nice body check. And uh, there's the Terminator just dumping it into the zone. Picked up by Kennedy. Kennedy stops, turns, passes it off to Cloutier. Cloutier to the point to Deanna Vaughn. And Vaughn just dumps it back into Cloutier again. Vaughn has it at the blue line. Back in, there's the shot. Deflected off into the corner. As Cloutier had a chance to deflect it into the goal, but the goaltender, Horner, with Johnny on the spot. Ball goes back into the corner. 92. Vaughn Oyen, Van Oyen, I think is how you pronounce that. Loose, oh! oh. That was one of those tough ones in the air, took a deflection off of a hand and the goalie was going one way and uh, the ball just sort of went the other and uh, and couldn't keep it out. That's one of those ones uh, I played uh, played net a few times and it's just frustrating because you can see it, you're reaching at it, but you just can't grab it. I guess this is an excuse me goal because four people touch that ball in front of the net. You're going to see it come back out to the blue line. There's the yeah. shot, one, two, and then three, it looked like there was more than four, but uh, but it was off block, so it counted. So, so. it counts, yeah, yeah. If it would have went off the, uh, if it would have went off the uh, Terminator's uh, hand, then probably would have been called back. Ball goes back into the corner, chasing after it. Number eight is a K, and we're getting a whistle. Looks like a trip here to Palmerston. So Dess is going to go on the power play by the looks of things, and uh, they're going to have to try and get that. Uh, that goal right back here. Here we see the uh, the penalty coming up and just as much sort of a push in the back, but uh, 
could be interference, could be a trip, could be a lot of different things. But what it is is two minutes for sure. Calista K uh, ended up in the penalty box with the uh, tripping call. Odessa on the power play. Back out to, to Bender. They're pardon me, or or Oates. But ball back into the corner, picked up by Glass. Glass has it. Glass to to Ben to Lentz. Back out to or Oates. To Kalanoka. Kalanoka backs up at the blue line. There's the long shot knocked down by him. Another shot in on goal. Oh. Nice stop. Yes, Horner got the blocker in the way on that play. First time we've seen some sustained offense by, by Odessa. Yeah, they've got the ball in a little bit deeper now and uh, making that box a little bit tighter there. So that's uh, that's probably a better uh, position for Odessa to try and move it in a little bit closer. But no. as we say that. <laughs> well, nice defensive play. You can't take anything away from she anticipated that really well, and that was number 30. 30, uh, yeah, I guess 30 is uh, Caitlin Boss, and she made a really nice play on that by getting that stick, that active stick. Absolutely, yes. Ball goes off into the corner, knocked into there by Oroz. Lentz has it back out to the point. Oroz has it. Out to Kalanoka. Kalanoka getting set. There's the shot off a of hand in front, knocked down by Palmerston and just scooped up and knocked down the, uh, the ice surface. Palmerston going to get some changes in here. Christina Rotes up along the wall to Schaefer. Schaefer has the ball, stops, waits. Back to Kalanoka. Kalanoka has the ball. Kalanoka back inside. There we go, there's a shot deflected. Horner makes the save. And pardon me, uh, Schulten makes the save and it was a good stop. She's made two good stops later. Oh. Coming off the bench. All Ode back even now here. Odessa winning the ball in the corner. There's Odessa with the shot. Good one, but knocked down in front. There's another one high over the net. That was close. 34, Madison Bender. In behind the net, trying to get something started here. And that's Schindel. Well, 28 is Kalanoka, and she tried to get it through. Can't get it there. Here, here comes the Terminators. Couldn't get the ball through the legs of uh, Schaefer. And just comes back and back checked, and a whistle goes, and Brianna Wolf. Brianna Wolf is. Uh, we getting a whistle, we getting a penalty? Uh, just Good. an offside just there. Just offside. Yeah. Uh, sometimes yeah. it's... <laughs> it's hard to tell at times, yeah. Well, that was the first uh, fair bit of sustained pressure we saw from Odessa, and it's uh, it's nice to see them press back here. The, the Having the power play allow them to get some momentum, and now let's see whether they can uh, uh, whether they can try and get one back and make this a close game down the wire. Chittenden trying to keep that ball in. He loses it. Goes off. A Schaefer has it, tries to knock it out. Terminators get it back out to the red line. There's the long shot stop. And this is Bender. Madison Bender's had a good game for Odessa. Along the wall, just keeps going on the boards. They're having, Odessa's very adept at keeping that ball there and making those boards work for themselves. Here's the Terminators again, number eight. Caitlin, pardon me, uh, K has it. First name is Callista. There's a shot that's fired wide. As number 12, Holzapper has it and then knocks it out. Bender hits the ball and then Bender man. I don't know whether we're Ooh. supposed to say that or not. I guess they hit the player. So. Yeah. Nice what? ball control in behind the net. Walker has it. Doing a nice job. Finally gets on it again. Odessa trying to get in a, through the legs of number 86, Cassidy Burnett. She has it. good pressure right now by Drost. Drost in behind the goal. Drost looking for the open person that might be able to get in, just hands on, hangs on to a good, good ball control. Going to back pass it through as Chittenden has it behind the net. Chitten makes a nice play finally to get some control out of it. Chasing it down to Schindel and 
Over runs the ball. There's a shot in front, and Bender picks it up. Here comes Bender up, up the ice, and then runs into her man. There's number 33. Did it again. <laughs> anyway, number 61 is Bukart. And the ball is just running around inside that, <laughs> in front of the net and picking it up quickly is the number 23, Prussenshin. And then out to the blue line, but cut off by Vlad, and Vlad tries to get it in front of the net. Yeah, it almost looks like Palmerston's loaded up a line here, and they wanted to get the momentum back, and they've uh, really took it to Odessa in the past. And now we're getting the whistle again. And uh, not, not sure what this call is. Uh, you know what? It might have been, uh, was it maybe a hand pass or a kickball to a, a player? Maybe a kickball in the offensive end. There's the faceoff. Backed up. Skakun. Out on that ice, trying to the ball control again by, by the Terminators. Kennedy has it. Kennedy passes to the center. Up to McCrow, but she just dumps it in the zone, chasing after it. Number 17, Hyrenek. Ball along the wall, there's a shot. Kept there by Boss. And Bose probably because one S. There's two center, picked up. There's a chance for Boussier. Couldn't control it. Then knocking that ball off into the corner. There's a chance. Didn't fire it. Back to Prosecent. There, pardon me, uh, Kalanoka. In the corner is Skakun. She's having trouble with the vine and gets it around. Picking up the loose ball is Wolf. Wolf along the boards. Tried to feed it up to Boss. Loose ball, and then 92 is just running it down, and that's Van Ooyen. There's the center. Nice play by the goaltender, and she had <laughs> a couple of players landing on her as she was doing that. That was a good save. She had to stop the ball and the teammate there. <laughs> and Horner. And she did both, yes. <laughs> Number nine, she, uh, pardon me, with uh, Brooke Trost was uh, bent over a little bit uh, trying to catch some air, but I'm surprised she didn't head to the bench. But. Face off, Morgan Schaefer never getting the face off, redo the net. Somebody was moving. Yeah, there we go. So she got a couple more seconds here to get catch her breath there. Haley Lent's going to take the draw. With number 92, Christy Van Ooyen. There's the shot. Ball goes off into the corner. Quickly on it. It's Chittenden trying to get it out. Boy, you can say what you like, but the Terminators have controlled the ball all day, and it's 4.04 remaining, and it looks like uh, uh, the Saskatchewan Odessa Flames are, uh, are going to have a pretty, pretty tough hill to climb with 3.52 remaining. Yeah, they haven't been able to create uh, a whole lot of chances. They've had a couple little runs where they've been able to put some pressure on, but in general, yeah, it just hasn't been falling their way today, and uh, yeah, the Terminators are are really good uh, defensively, and they seem to, whenever it looks like their defense is going to break, they they get that broom in there and break up the passes. Well, they've been they've been knocking it through the lanes when they've had the chance, and, and of course, Odessa has that little that, the little game with the little pass, and exactly you know, try to get the three on two break. And there's number 86, and that's Cassidy Burnett. She's had a strong game today too. There's the shot on goal and uh, uh, Horner had a little trouble with it, but they finally got it away. Saskatchewan, the Odessa Plains. Down two nothing with 2.57 remaining. And there's the shot, knocked away nicely was Horner. Yeah, it was a good thing she didn't hold on to it for too long there because there was a Terminator right in front. Drew enough, they had a chance to knock that ball away. She's played well. And sometimes a goaltender will keep you in a game, as we saw last night with the young guns from uh, goaltender was absolutely fi fantastic. And uh, but in the end, uh, couldn't stop that one goal. But uh, boy, what a what a show she put on last night! Absolutely, yes. I believe we're going to see her again today in the bronze medal game. So. 
Oh, that was a nice hard hit there by number 61 off uh, uh, Butchart from uh, Palmerston there. Nice, solid hit. Well, I'm saying that it's, there's no, they don't shy away from the contact in this, uh, this sport, in this lady sport. And uh, some of the, saw one of the best body checks last night in a ladies game, so. Yeah, absolutely. I, I like, I quite enjoy the physical aspect of this game. And there comes another hit right on cue. True enough. And uh, they're not afraid to, to lay the body. But uh, Horner's played well in goal and. But unfortunately, has given up two. The time is running down. 137 remaining in this game oh. as Odessa Flames are all are, are having a difficult time as uh, as the Terminators from Palmerston have just been in complete control in this last five minutes. Oh, it looks like we've got another injury from uh, from Odessa there. Uh, Kristen Oros came, went, went off hobbling on one leg there. Well, probably got a stick off it. They're fairly well protected. Uh, but those shin pads and there's areas that, uh, that you can get hit that uh, aren't protected. It's like... Uh, and that's usually where you get hit is what I found. You got shin pads, usually the thigh area where there's no protection. So it's uh, from what I understand. Yeah. There's always that little spot just right underneath the shin pad, just sort of above the, the tongue of your boot too that... Uh, the broom always seems to be able to find that spot. True enough. 62, 52, Schaefer in the corner. And finally, Wolf grabs it. Jesse Ray. We're going to watch her. Let's see what happens if she got hurt. So, Coming up the boards there. And, oh, it looks like she probably just sort of caught the corner of the boards with her foot. And, yeah, just sort of rolled up on it a little bit there. So Ooh. It'll hurt probably nothing too terribly serious, you hope anyways, but uh, but it doesn't feel good, I know, and she's Caitlin, still... Caitlin Boss wins the draw. Yeah, it's still gonna hurt. I yeah. think you're right, sorry. I can see her on the bench, and she still doesn't look like she's really comfortable out there. But it's just about time's up as we're looking around. The clock is running down 18 seconds, and the, the Terminator's still in control of the ball in the zone. Finally, Odessa tries to get it out through center. Up to number nine is Morgan Schaefer. One last gasp to see if he can break this shutup. It's not going to happen. Full marks to the Palmas and Terminators. They win the Lady B side gold medal game. And uh, there you see uh, Jordan Skolton, who wins the game. And uh, there's a little celebration going down here, but. Uh, you know, it's a, it's winning this thing right now is uh, the second to to the heavy hearts that uh, that the Desaflames have, and uh, I think uh, these girls know it. There's, there's yeah. not much you exuberance know. in this celebration. No, there really isn't. You can tell, and and in a tournament like this, uh, you're playing all the teams. You do end up talking to a lot of the uh, of all the other players from the other teams and that too. So they they everyone knows what's happened, and. Um, yeah, this is, you go out and play the game, but it does sort of feel secondary. And the last thing you want to do is um, try and make them feel any worse than what they probably do right now. So um, uh, uh, nice for Palmerston not to sort of whoop it up. And Yeah, they yeah, showed um, a lot of class. Yeah, and the, the celebration was very, very subdued. That There was no throwing the gloves and, and stuff that you see uh, during the celebration and hats go off. And, uh, exactly. And you see all the girls taking their helmets off right okay. now. And great for Odessa to come out and play such a good game. Uh, they're going to, uh, these are the medal presentation as they're bringing them out. And uh, um, so uh, you can see the girls that are getting all, get their hats off and stuff. They, uh, Palmerston. Whatever. We're, well, uh, we just wanted to, the right now with this particular game, uh, Odessa had so much trouble with with the uh, with the Terminators. The Terminators played so extremely well for for B. So they were giving the medal presentation. They're not using the PA system, which is unfortunate. Then we could probably hear what's going on. But uh, okay, uh, Ryan McGregor interview. We we're talking about equipment and. Uh, and what's changed and what has happened with uh, uh, 
things that have uh, with with broomball over the last number of years. So uh, maybe you want to sit back and uh, enjoy this, and we'll see Ryan uh, McGregor.